two viewers. We have three. Let's see if this connects. All right, it connected. All right, so it shows connection on there. All right, everybody, we're getting things connected up real quick, getting more people to come on. Hang tight. While we're waiting, let us know how the audio sounds. Uh, Ooh, because last time I didn't have the, uh, one of the microphones should be going. Yeah. Give us a little comment. Can you hear it? guessing I don't really let's see all right can anybody hear us so far yet We got the tests on there. Where's the uh it's not showing me the live on my phone. Ooh. Your videos live stream. Oh that's one month ago though. Yeah, there's six watching. There's six people watching right now. Yeah, no, but we don't know if uh the audio Yeah, we sound great. No one will tell us that, but we sound great. <laughs> okay, so it's posted out to several yeah, million people. We got six. Yeah. All right. So now we also know the delay. Yeah, it's a little delay. Yeah, like a 10 second delay. That's all right. Mob stuff. Come on. I guess though we can still see uh We'll give it a couple more minutes and we'll get going. Yeah. I mean because we're just testing this stuff out anyway, see how it how it does. Yeah. Um, I like to see if anybody's on there watching to drop us a comment so we can see that it's working. Let us know that you're alive. <laughs> We've been having some technical difficulties today. No, everything that can mess up, messes up. I mean, it worked perfect yesterday. That's how it works. And then now, it all goes to hell in a handbasket. That's why we're having to use the webcam and not the other camera set up because it wouldn't connect. Yeah, so the video quality down there in the bottom kind of sucks. Sorry, hopefully we'll have that fixed the next time. We're going to get more minutes so we'll get things started. Uh, we're going to go through the motions. This is the first time to do this for Truck 180 and go through a couple of uh, truck scenarios. We're going to do a whole lot more, but we got to get the stage set and make it where it's working right. And we're kind of trying to get the hang of things too. So Oh, yeah. I mean, we're not yeah. professionals. <laughs> As you can we're see. We're not perfect. But so hey, if you see anything, like if there's something that you're like, hey, I want to see that. 
versus what we're doing, let us know and we might listen. Yeah. Stream still showing good. Good stream health. Um, the bit rate is lower. Whatever. Who cares? I was really hoping we get some more. Good kind of action do we have on the pages? I wonder if that's going to take it to the right one. Bit rate. Yeah, no, that's not working. Oh. All right, screw it. Pitter patter, huh? Pitter patter, let's get it going. So we are testing this out. We're trying some things out, but what we wanted to do today was uh, talk about the Yenko Silverado mm -hmm. and the Hennessy Silverado. Which are um, two totally different trucks. Like they're for two totally different people, in my opinion. Like how? Like. The Hennessy is like more designed like off-road, like people that like lifted trucks. The Yanko SC uh, is more like slam truck because it's dropped two inches in the front and five in the rear. So it's lowered quite a bit hmm. where the Hennessy has an available six inch lift uh, as an option. Well, let's go to the Yanko. Yeah. Get rid of that picture. So they just stand right there. Um, it's definitely a street truck. Oh yeah, it stands for sure. I don't. So let's go over the Yinko. What what are the options for it? I mean, so you got the. So basically, Yinko started in. Well, they did. This is not the first year model that done this. No, absolutely not. They're also known for the Cyclone. Well, that's the only idea. But as far as full size. Yeah. Uh, so, if you want to bring up the graphic that for Yanko, uh, the Yanko specs, let's start there. All right, let's see which one. Uh, Yanko, oh, you didn't save them as the. Which one you want? Uh, nope. 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 There we go. Okay. So we'll start with the Yanko. Uh, there's a couple spots where the Yanko beats the Hennessy, and then there's a couple, as we will see, that the Hennessy beats the Yanko. So starting out, uh, it's an 800 horsepower, 720 foot pound, custom built, 378 cubic inch LT1. So uh, we'll mark that, put a pin in that, and let's see what the Hennessy has. Forged aluminum pistons they both share. Upgraded fuel systems and injectors. Uh, they both have CNC ported heads and they're both supercharged. What's the, uh, what's the horsepower of the wheel though on this one? That, the only information that I could find is... Uh, it's basically the same as the last year build, isn't it? Yeah. So, so the 2020 and the 2021 are the exact same build. So Hennessy did 2019-2020, uh, where Yanko went 2020-2021. All right. Uh, next, which would have been the one below it? That one? Uh, we'll That's go just there. more appearance. So. Yeah. So there's another graphic here, uh, but we'll hit this one while we're at it. So... Stock, it comes with six spoke, 22 inch wheels, uh, and silver performance rated tires, which are uh, 305 45 R22s, of course. Like I said, two Not inch. Cheap. What's that? Not cheap. Yeah. Two inch front uh, and five inch rear lowering. Uh, custom Yanko SC grill. Uh, it's got the Yanko Crest fender badges, the 800 horsepower cowl and tailgate badging, and the cool thing that the Yanko has, which is more the street truck thing, is the bumper step delete inserts. For where? On the rear bumper? Uh-huh, on the rear bumper. So, as far as like a street truck, especially if it's lowered five inches, the uh, those steps are really not, they're not useful. Uh, 
So, next graphic, please. All right. So, of course, uh, if you're going to uh, add all of these modifications, you have to modify the ECU. It has an upgraded six-speed transmission. Also pay attention to that one. Uh, custom stainless headers, high flow cat, stainless cat back system, uh, and come standard with Yanko badge Brembo six piston brake calipers up front. Uh, let's, stock in the back. Yeah, stock in the back. So let's see what else. Next one. All right. So this is more. Uh, more appearance package. Uh, it's got the tailgate panel, a serialized interior badge, embroidered headrest, the door sill plates. I like that. It's a nice little touch, and a Yanko key fob with vehicle build number. <laughs> and uh, if you could move our camera there. All right. So it comes uh, stock out of the gate with a three or thirty-six thousand mile warranty uh, on all of the parts that. Uh, Yanko has uh, put in there. So that was the Yanko. Let's take a look at the Hennessy, see what it's about. Well, let's look at this real quick. Okay. So I've got. Oh, that's. I like that. So that's the. Uh, I like the old school vinyl graphics. Like it kind of lends back to the old muscle car days. Is that in the tailgate? This in, that's embedded in there. So. Yeah, so that's a custom panel, uh, it's an overlay. Uh, that would go over the stock tailgate. Uh, these are available in both uh, single and crew cab configurations, both trucks. All right, so that's one, or go back one. Which one to the layout? Yeah, so there you go. So with both trucks, uh, there are options that are available to upgrade the price. Uh, a body color tunnel cover, leather interior trim package, and you can change the six spoke wheels that were in uh, silver to satin black, bright silver, or satin black with a red line stripe, which is what we've seen on that first picture. Yeah. Uh, that one? No. Nope. That would be the silver yeah, right there. The red so line that, wheels. That looks sick. Hot wheels. With the Brembo brakes, I like that. So what else we got? So that's it as far as specs on the Yanko. I got a couple of... Uh, got a couple of videos? Here, no, so look, there's no videos of the new. Please stop real quick. There's no, there's no videos I could find of the new Yanko. Right. They haven't put anything out. Nothing on their website. I don't understand why. But here's an older one. A little dino session report. Let's listen. So this is the best one. So okay. this dealership guy bought one and immediately ripped into it. Mm. Brand new paper plates in the dealership parking lot. <laughs> Film with potato, of course. Yeah, <laughs> man, that is that is intense. I wish I could see what that dealership was. Did you say it's like the one in Texas? I, so I'm thinking that it is uh, Jim Turner, uh, formerly Alan Samuels, or no, I'm sorry, not Alan Samuels, John McLaren in uh, McGregor, Texas, right outside of Waco. This is right down the road from us. That's what it looks like to me. That looks like that's Highway 84 
running right across there. Hmm. Uh, but all Chevy dealers look similar. So I don't know. If you do know, leave us the comment. We're going to keep on begging y'all for comments until somebody does it. Like, all right, so now we're getting into Hennessy. So Hennessy, John Hennessy, um, right down the road, Sealing, CB, Texas, what, about two hours, two hour, two and a half hours from us? Drive by there all the time going to Houston. Always see the cars in the parking lot. And they have their own uh, drag strip. So that there. drag strip, I used to race over there. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so it was open. And then I guess he bought them all out and used it for his, his testing on the vehicles himself. So. Well, I mean, I guess now he doesn't have to use uh, the 130 toll road to test stuff anymore. <laughs> no more publicity <laughs> stuff. But if y'all remember that, uh, what, like, I guess it was like five or six years ago now, whenever they opened up the, uh, the which Duke, car? Which car do you do? The Corvette Twin Turbo. It was the first year of the C7. What year is that? I don't know. All right, so. The Goliath. I actually, I'm really kind of partial to this one. Yeah, this is my truck. I'm not a street truck guy. I'm more uh, of a lifted off-road type guy. I like some meaty tires. Uh, to be honest, as we go through all of this, as we continue down the, uh, <laughs> the path, of truck 180, y'all will find that I am an EV guy. Oh my god! Yeah. So Tesla Cyber Truck. Yeah, it is what it is. Anyways, this truck. I mean, they're two. They're for two totally different people. This one is for me and you. Uh, hey, sweet Jesse's on. <laughs> so this one. I mean, right off the bat, I love the way this one looks. Yeah, the custom front bumper. This has got Goliath in it. The the uh, the light bars. I mean, the lift, the wheels and tires. That's a beautiful truck. Right, and this truck right here is shown with all available options, which we're going to get into shortly. Uh, but the Yanko does not have an off road package where the Goliath does. The Goliath also has one thing. If you have a checkbook heavy enough, <laughs> it has one very awesome. Uh, upgrade that you can do, which is a six by six. That'll oh, run you. Man, we'll get to that one. That one's the very end. You're you're jumping the gun. Oh, sorry. You're jumping Ooh. the gun. All right, so let's get let's run the stats. Like let's run the uh, the specs on it. Look at that though. Look at that front bumper. Oh yeah, it's freaking it matches gorgeous. the grill. It's I, I didn't even notice the hood scoop, the actual hood. Yeah. God. All right. All right. So you want some numbers? I want some numbers. Uh, nope. Nope. I guess I should have had them in better nope. order. It didn't. Yep. Happen. All right. So this is where I told you to put a pin in it and uh, pay attention to what we have. 805 horsepower at 5,500 RPM. The Yanko is rated at 800. So we've got a five horsepower boost there. Uh, the Goliath has a five horsepower advantage. Five horsepower. Uh, I mean, it's negligible. But you put five horsepower. What's that? You put five horsepower. No, to it's the there. wheels. Yeah, that's to the wheels. The great really? horsepower, yeah. There's no way Yanko's putting that much to the wheels. Yeah, and Yanko doesn't say what they are putting. So, they're not Wait, their huge. Video, didn't their video say it? I don't think it did. Let's oh, go back. Let's so, go back. Let's pause this for a second. All right. Set up there. It would have been at the end. Nope, didn't say. Ooh, I thought it said. Hmm. All right. Well, it didn't say. Ooh. Boom. Okay. So the Yanko had a 378. Yeah, Ralph, you back. 378 versus 416. Yeah. I mean, and you put on top of that a 2.9 liter supercharger, like... In the end, cubic inches matter. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make, I mean... Make cubic inches great again. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a hat there somewhere. Ooh. Of course, it's got a high-flow intercooler, chrome, chrome molly hardened push rods. So, here's the other thing. A 10-speed transmission versus Yanko 6-speed. Now, let me tell you what. So, the 10-speed uh, the versus 6-speed. 
So that the ten speed. If I'm hauling, I would rather have a ten speed. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, General Motors and Ford work together on ten speed transmission. Okay. I'm not sure. I think I think so. We but that ten speed that. transmission is unbelievable. So the 2020 F250 is a ten speed on it. Mm -hmm. I know we're not talking about Ford, but eh. But the, just the, the example of the six speed versus 10 speed is night and day, unbelievable. Yeah. So I can imagine six speed in the Goliath versus, or 10 speed in Goliath versus the six speed in the Inco. Yeah, my 2007 Chevy has a four speed and towing is horrible with it. Uh, 10 speed, I mean, you the, absolutely get better towing. The, the mentality behind the 10 speed and the way it's running now is, is, is unbelievable. The trucks are running like crazy. Yeah, and you can keep your transmission temps lower. Uh, Next page, please. Which one do you want? We'll take that one. That one works. All right, so just like the Yanko, uh, your exhaust comes in stainless variety. Forged aluminum pistons, forged steel wrist pins uh, to handle the power. Again, CNC ported heads and extreme duty dual valve springs. Uh, your connection? Yeah. Uh, no, not that one. We'll get to, I should have had these in better order. Well, I named them in order. Did you? No way. I did. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So uh, HPE hydraulic roller camshaft with the hydraulic lifter upgrade. Again, uh, HPE engine custom, custom engine management upgrade. They dyno every single one of their vehicles that come off the line with road testing up to 200 miles. Uh, it does have exterior rear badging. Next page. If I find the right one you want. Nope. 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 Boom. Okay. So, embroidered headrest comes standard. Uh, of course, it's got the badging to tell everybody how much money you spent, uh, <laughs> a serial numbered plaque and a serial numbered certificate of authenticity. Here's the thing, standard. It comes with one year, 1200, 12, ugh. let's roll that one back. One year, 12,000 mile warranty. You're lying, you can't roll it back. <laughs> I did. So, that right there, Yanko's got to be standard. Next one, and we'll talk about some optional upgrades. Stand. Oh. Oh. Last one. Last one. All right. So available upgrades is that Goliath front bumper that was yeah, pictured. That is massive. Yeah. The LED lights in the bumper. Uh, Twenty inch Hennessy ten spokes with thirty five inch twelve off road tires. A six inch lift and the camera is our video feed is in the way. But you can purchase, uh, additionally, a three-year, 36,000-mile warranty to match Yanko's offerings. Which is good at dealerships. Which dealers, aren't these good at dealerships? You have to go back to Hennessy. Right. No, they're, they're But it's going to be Hennessy dealership. They're Hennessy certified dealership. Yeah. So they are available, both of these are available from the, uh, from the dealership as custom offerings. Gotcha. Okay. Let's see. So I've got some pictures for you. All right. Let's take a look. I know Jesse will like them. So I showed you that one. Yep. And that's got that optional bumper with the lights. And wheels and tires. Yep. I mean, that's, that's decked out there. Yeah. And so also, I don't know if it said it that's on that light right there. Uh, the six inch lift is also an upgrade. Uh, it was that, on there, yeah. Yeah. So that's the one again. Uh, just, that's beautiful. Yeah. I mean... I'm not a red guy. I'm a black pickup guy, but it's awesome. And these are available in two and four wheel drive, both of them. Uh, so you could go either way on that. Are you ready to talk about money? You want to show the video first? Yeah, let's show a video. Oh, I like to see an actual Hit up comparison on the track. Hey, maybe uh, maybe somebody will get with us. 
Oh yeah. That is a hefty supercar. For the most right. I like that rear bumper. Looks like hidden exhaust. Man, there is not a spare inch. Did she just eggplant us? Twice. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Pause that. Boom. So, here we go. Max power, 629 of the wheels. Yeah. So this was taken directly from. Uh, it's not 805. That is taken directly from this. This cheat sheet is directly from Hennessy. Hmm. I just wonder what Yinko's is. No, I mean it might be 805 base horsepower, which would be what the engine is putting out. But I can't see it losing 200 almost. Uh, huh. 200 horsepower. Look at this. Got a load to it. Boom. Also, that may not be uh, the 416. That, uh. Oh, I'd have to look it up. I think it's the 59 is what they, uh. Hmm. They offer two different motor. Did they? Uh huh. But that was previous. 5.3. So they did have an option for a 5.3 and I believe that was 2018. So that could have been easily been the 5.3 pairing. Hmm. All right. What else you want to see, Jesse? You're the only one commenting. <laughs> so you got numbers, prices? Yeah. So we'll start with the Yanko because that is where we have hard numbers. This upgrade is $79,000 out the door uh, on top of the price of your base model pickup. So you're looking anywhere from like 110 all the way up, depending on what truck you get. Like the Yanko? Uh huh. Yeah. So you're getting into some pretty lofty territory. Hennessy did not release, uh, as far as I could find, their pricing information, except for the 6x6. So, uh, with... Well, let's go to the 6x6. Well, so, the one thing that we do know is the, uh, the Hennessy uh, Escalade, that was around a $50,000 upgrade above the... The cost of the vehicle. vehicle. Right. Yeah. So, we could guess that it would be somewhere in the $50,000 range, but we don't have that information available to us. Go to the 6x6, because this is where I think Hennessy really outdid themselves. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Are you ready for it? Mm. So I have personally driven a 6x6 vehicle in six-wheel drive. It's crazy. Oh, it's, yeah. it's intense. Like... That thing is a tank that will just roll over anything. Just the, no, you are not that bougie. You may live in a nice neighborhood and you may be the upcoming HOA vice president, <laughs> but you ain't that bougie. That's a, that's a lot of parking space right there. Oh yeah, and the beautiful I thing like about it. that, like I love what they did, that custom, uh, that custom metal work on the bed. Uh, that looks really good. Looks really, of course, professionally done. But yeah, going back, the six by six driving that just amazing. Like it will go anywhere, do anything. I want to drive one of those. You haven't driven a six by six? No, I haven't driven a six by six, but not this six by six by Hennessy. Yeah, I want to make that two hour, two hour trek and go drive it. The one we drove was based on a Ford, or is it a Dodge Ford? Ford. Yeah. Uh. But yeah, so this one has the same motor options as the other. Uh, so you're looking at uh, 805 horsepower at 55, uh, 100 RPMs. But you're doing, you're pushing all of that, all, of it. all six wheels of rubber. 
So, and that right there. So that one will set you back two hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars out the door. I thought that was more than that. I thought it was three something. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's two seventy-five. I thought it was three forty-five or three seventy-five. Go live six by six price. Oh, the base price for the 2019 six by six is three hundred and seventy-five thousand. Base price, which is... includes a new Chevy Silverado. Well, I would hope. Right. So, of course, like. Just, you're going to have to pay extra for the six inch lift, for the bumpers, for the lights, for the extra little uh, things, the three year warranty, which you're going to want with a six by six and all the hell you're going to put it through. Uh, if you not even drive it. If you're paying $375,000 for a truck. Yeah. You'll pay it. Oh, yeah. You'll buy it. All, all right. Away. So, are you ready for it? What am I ready for? This is a surprise to me. Is this a six? Is this Goliath six by six? That it is. Wait for it, hundred miles. That is wicked. I mean, that takes some serious. How much body roll does speed go, especially for such a tall truck? Yeah. huge deal, especially for the people out in California. Uh, if you're unlucky, <laughs> if you're unlucky enough to live there, I am sorry. But the Yanko has a disclaimer in their brochure that says that it is not street legal in California. So it can only be used at sanctioned racing events. The Hennessy did not have such a disclaimer. I can't uh, I was unable to verify its legality in the state of California because, quite frankly, I really don't care. All right. All right. So, what is your what is your thoughts? I love the Hennessy. I really want to go check it out. Actually, give it a drive. Yinko. I don't know if they've been as, as in your face as much as Hennessy really has been. Hennessy pushes their stuff quite a bit, and they're always trying out new models and new and different things. They push the they push the envelope quite a bit. Hands down, I think the Hennessy, the Goliath, or the Yanko any day. But as you said too, though, I'm I like the street trucks, but I also like the height and like the off-road ability. Right, and I mean, I'm always gonna go toward Tennessee because it's a Texas brand versus Tom's River, New Jersey with Yanko. So, yeah, Lone Star. Yeah. All right. Um, we'll wrap it up. Yeah. So thanks to Hennessy right. for letting us use the video. We'll have links to both the Yanko and Hennessy in the bottom. Uh, thanks for uh, dreading through our, uh, our first shot at this. We're going to work on making things better. Yeah, let us know what we can do better. And we'll see you next time.